shooting for the first time on our, our new camera. And it's such a joy to be able to do it one-handed again. When it's snowing outside, I always get a kick out of checking on the animals, make sure they're, they're happy and warm. You better have Here, Are you all done? Ooh, there we go. Jackpot. Thanks, chickens. <laughs> I find that's the easiest way to carry them. I'm gonna make bread today and I figured I might as well share my recipe with you. First off, I start out with a quart of milk. Um, I use this to activate my yeast. I don't have to add any sugar. Um, there's plenty of sugar in my milk. So first I just heat that up and then we'll add the yeast. You want it to be fairly warm. I'm doing a recipe that's for four loaves of bread. So that's two tablespoons of yeast. And then, um, then I do six cups of flour, which is not all the flour that's in the recipe, but I'm just gonna soak it and it makes it a lot easier to work with. Now the recipe does change a little bit if you have freshly ground your flour today. It soaks up a ton of the moisture when you've just ground it, and so you have to add more milk. So you um, mix the six cups of flour. Um, I use 100% whole wheat. So it's all squishy and spongy like that. That's perfect. So I'm going to let it sit and sponge. So soaking up all that moisture for 10 minutes and I'm going to come back. Okay, so it's been sponging for 10 minutes and now you can see it's grown a lot. I add two tablespoons of salt and I always wait till this point to do it because I don't want to change and have it, uh, an effect. It can affect the yeast, so that's why I wait till now. So now I do one third cup of oil. You add four more cups of flour and then you start kneading and I've been kneading it and it feels really dry so I'm going to add some more milk. If it ends up really dry and you have to add a lot of more liquids then I usually add a little tiny bit more salt just because you don't want it to be making it bland. Do it with it. Here, you can do that one. Look, honey. <laughs> She's got coal over on her. Oh, dear. Oh, good job, honey. <laughs> cool rattlesnake, buddy. That's really awesome. So, if you have found that the dough keeps sticking to your fingers, then I usually just rub some flour all over and then kind of just coat my whole hand with flour and then it's way easier and it doesn't stick so that works really well for me um, I made a little pig out of clay <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute its name is Hammy after Hammy <laughs> so I've just finished kneading it I actually needed it for about 15 minutes so I'm gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes then I'm gonna put them in the Pans. The bread pans. That's what they're called.
So you just let them rise after you get them shaped. Um, you can put them in a warm oven for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. All right, one project we've been wanting to do for a while is to put something white on these concrete walls. We actually, that was a hard decision to make because we really like the, the rustic nature of the concrete and just being able to see what the house is made out of. There's something kind of raw and kind of neat about that. But after a lot of thought, we've decided that white walls would actually make this house feel a lot more airy and bright, which we enjoy. Um, so we're going to stucco the walls today. And I should say plaster. It's um, basically drywall plaster, but it's the setting kind. Um, we've only got about five to ten minutes of time to work with it. But um, it's really fun, so we're all going to get our hands dirty. Uh, this is the five minute setting kind. I'm going to take off my clothes to not make them big. That's enough. Okay, thank you. This is really fun. <laughs> it's always fun. All right. Let's do it. We're going to sculpt moldings and um, cornices and uh, I'm actually really interested in this part right here where we're going to sculpt a very fancy cornice under the, under the archway. And so you're starting to see the grand vision of our house, finally. <laughs> Okay, well we finished for the day on this plaster. Um, it's in no way finished by any means. So we've got a lot to do around the whole rest of the house. But we've gone kind of as high as we can reach, you know, with the kids. <laughs> and um, we, we did run out of plaster, so we'll have to continue that another day. But it's, I'd say it's a huge success. That quick drying or quick setting drywall mud works really, really well. I would highly recommend it. So, yeah. We're really happy with it. So we're going to check the bread to see if it's ready. There we go. It looks good. So at this point, I'm going to turn the oven up to 400 uh, while the bread is still in there. After 15 minutes at 400, I turn it down to 350 for the next 15 minutes. OK, the bread is ready. we got to get it out. Is that yummy, Banj? <laughs> 